You're listening to the My Morning Devotional Podcast, episode 881. Today's Devo is called Be the Flashlight. Hey, I'm Allison Elizabeth, a faith filled, coffee obsessed baker from Miami, Florida. As my dreams widened and my to do list got longer, I found it harder to find devotional time. After seeing many people struggle to do the same, I set out to produce a five minute daily dose of heaven. This is the My Morning Devotional Podcast. Good morning, everybody, and happy Monday. Welcome back to another episode of the My Morning Devotional Podcast. I am praying that you guys had a fantastic weekend and that you're excited for the week ahead of you. We are officially in that halfway point of October which means that Thanksgiving is only a month away and Christmas is two months away. It's our absolute favorite time of year, and I am so excited for the Advent season this year. Now, today we're going to continue our series as we've been talking about fear, anxiety, shame, and all of the things that go on in our lives from a day-to-day basis. I thought it was very fitting for the month of October, considering that it is Mental Health Awareness Month. It's also spooky season, and so Really what we're talking about are the monsters that hide under our bed. And so today we're going to be talking about anxiety. And we're going to be in Proverbs chapter 12, verse 25. It says that anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down, but a good word makes him glad. And I label today's evil, be the flashlight. And this is a picture that I wanted to paint because right now Manny and I, as you guys have been with me for a couple of weeks, it's been a really hard month, a really hard season. And in this season, some of us or between us, we may have good days and we may not have such good days. And sometimes I'm doing better than he is and other times he's doing better than I am. And what I have gathered in marriage in my short year of being married so far is that marriage is that 100% from both parties. It's not 50-50, it's 100%. And 100%. And the reality is that sometimes we don't have 100% to give. And so the other party has to give 110%. And then vice versa. And so anxiety is something that has been stirring both in myself and in him, just because, again, this season has been a hard one for us. But anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down, but a good word makes him glad. And I just thought about what that could do, what a good word looks like. And When you're down and your heart is weighed and when anxiety is clouded, it just feels like you're in a dark room. But when a good word makes you glad, it's like a flashlight that goes off. And suddenly the dark room becomes light because when you fill the room with positivity, the anxiety seems to quiet down. It's still there. You know you're still in a dark room. But as the light continues to make its way, the room becomes brighter. Now, the reality is that sometimes you run out of batteries and your flashlight goes out. So what we need in our lives, all of us, is a solar-powered flashlight. And if you know how a solar-powered flashlight works, it needs to be charged in the sun. And the only way we can be flashlights in our homes for those of our family members that may be going through anxiety or maybe going through a dark season We know that we need to be powered, not by the sun, but by the son of God, by Jesus himself. And so when we are solar powered, when we are powered by the sun, when we have our foundation in order, we can be the flashlight that does not go out in our homes. We can give good words. We can bring light to a situation. So if you're going through a tough time, your spouse can be that for you and vice versa, and for your children and for your parents as well. This is not just for man and wife. This is for friends, for family members, for co-workers that may be going through something or a difficult time. Be that flashlight in that person's life. Bring them good words. Recite scripture. Bring light into dark situations. And together, all of us, under the sound of my voice, can be these flashlights to different corners and pockets of the world and maybe just maybe we can make a nice ripple effect that leaves today october 16th a better day so the prayer for today 
Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this Monday, God. Lord, we thank you for your word, and we thank you that you are righteous. You are here with us today. You are with everybody in every corner of this globe. You know the pains and the cries that we cry out to you. Lord, you know what we're going through. So we just pray for anybody under the sound of my voice and any of their extended relatives and friends and family who may be going through a season of anxiety of, or of depression, Lord, a dark season, God. May we be that flashlight to them. May you continue to power us to be that flashlight in these dim pockets. Lord, that is through bringing your words, bringing scripture alive, your, our testimonies in you, God. We just ask that you continue to give us the strength and the wisdom to light up the rooms that we find ourselves in. And Lord, we continue to keep the Middle East in our prayers, Lord, as you know more than anybody else what is going on. You see it from all angles. You see what we don't see. So Lord, continue to place your hand in that region. May there be peace. May these people no longer suffer, Lord. We're just praying for a good outcome here. We pray this all in your son's mighty name today and every day. Amen. So there you have it, your five-minute daily dose of heaven. Thank you for tuning in today. I pray these devotionals empower you to take on your day. Make sure to follow the My Morning Devotional account on Instagram at MyMorningDevo. There you will find quick links to subscribe to our podcast and the written devotionals. Until tomorrow, I pray that not only your latte is strong, but your love for Jesus is stronger.